the remaining of this session actually is probably the most difficult part of all of the loss that we, is out there, and that's the loss, the death of a child. Old Chinese saying, it's in the book, that when a child dies before the parent, the world is upside down. Every parent that I've talked to that has lost a child, and I say that to them, they just kind of stare through their glazing eyes and say, that's for sure. Losing a child is probably one of the more, most difficult losses. It's the most complicated. My family, personally, has not experienced the loss of a child that has been born. There's been some stillborns, but as, as far as losing a child to death, we've not experienced that severe loss. We have experienced one loss to adoption, meaning adopting out of our family. And that was painful. The loss of a child is nearly indescribable. It violates the normal flow of life. It is an, an event that is who, I've not, I've heard, I've read and heard so many quotes trying to describe what it feels like. And none of them agree on exactly how it feels, but all of them agree it is nearly undescribable, the pain with the loss of a child. In fact, if a spouse loses their mate, they're called a widow or widower in English. If a child loses their parents, they're called an orphan. If a parent loses a child, there's no word in the English language to describe that. How can you? It's very, very difficult. In fact, it's universally seen as one of the more severe forms. In fact, even Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, we were there in a previous session, makes an interesting statement of talking about the nation of Israel and the challenge to mourn and to do it well and deeply and fully. I, in Jeremiah chapter 6 uh, and verse 26, interesting verse, listen to his, what he says. O daughter of my people, dress in sackcloth and roll about in ashes. Make mourning as, make mourning as for a only, an only son most bittered lamentation, for the plunderer will suddenly come upon us. In his effort to tell people to grieve the, the, grieve the deepest, grieve the most, to the most extent possible human, how does he describe it? Like losing an only son, like losing a parent losing a child. The most utter, uttermost challenge of the weep, of grieving process is trying to describe a parent losing a child. In fact, in the book that uh, I, when I was writing my book, I didn't know what to say. Much to my amazement, when I got to the chapter about children losing a child, that chapter exploded on its own. It's like there was so much that needed to be in there. It, it's the biggest chapter, which was a, a kind of a surprise to me. I didn't plan on that, but it because it's so extensive. There's so many ways to view that. In fact, on my um, on my YouTube channel, uh, Grief Relief Ministries, of the 24 or so short little videos I have on there, the the most popular one, the one that has the most views, is the one on children and death. So it's a, it's a, it's a heavy one, uh, and one that is a, a challenge to, to try to help. And when, when you lose a child, it's really, in, in some, somehow it seems more permanent, even more so than a spouse. Um, there's, you can't replace that child, 
another child doesn't replace that child. Any parent that has more than one child knows, knows that you, you always have enough love for each child, and that child cannot be replaced. Even if you've got 12 kids, each one is, there's enough love for that one, and I can't replace that one. Um, and that's, it's, it be, in that sense, it seems to be more permanent than any other form of loss. And in fact, losing a child particularly is elongated because over time you're grieving all of the things that you and that child are missing. That child's 12th birthday maybe. That child graduating from high school. That child would be married by now. That, whatever, you, and you, the grief is elongated to each of those milestones potentially that that child is, will not have. And in the heart of the mind and the plans of the, of the parent, the pain is there. And it just, is, it just doesn't really, it's never eliminated. It just fades a little bit. So closure becomes more elusive with a child. It's not as definite sometimes because it's having a child is a part of life and now that life is now a lot, a lot differently. In fact, most parents will tell you this, losing a child redefines you as a person, the parent. The parents are, re who they are is redefined. And it's just, it, that's true about any loss. I know I made that statement. It's, it, it is true. But most, most major losses like death, you, you re, really, they don't go away. It just becomes a part of who you are. But more so, it seems, with parents who lose a child. So grieving is really a process about learning to deal with the loss, not really getting over. And, and yes, it's true about grief in general. It's learning to live with the loss, but somehow it's accentuated with, with children, with the loss of, ch of children. Um, and oftentimes you'll find that it's imperative to give the parents time. They need opportunity. And I, I hesitate always to give timetables because timetables are restrictive and I don't like to do that. I kind of did a little bit for widow widowers. Men tend to grieve six months to 18 months. For a spouse, women tend to grieve a, um, a year to 24 months. For a spouse, not uncommon to, for that to be the case. But with parents, it's pretty common. We're talking a two to five year process, nearly always. Any that, that kind of seem like that that's not the case are covering it up. Because in their heart, it, the pain heals much, much slower. Because life as expected, plans as expected, predicted developments going into sixth grade, go or oh, as another reminder and it, it just tears it again. So it's like like the, the strings of the heart that are torn heal a little bit and then the next milestone it tears a little bit. And so it, it takes time. And a lot of people don't allow for that and uh, in their thinking. And one of the things, I, I read an article that was very, very moving about a couple that had had, um, that were having a challenge getting having children and finally they had one on the way and the baby came to um, near term and we're almost like eight to eight month period and then the baby died and they had uh, uh, the man said people understood my wife grieving but nobody expected me to and it was like, even with that death, even miscarriages, it is both parents. And oftentimes that's not allowed for in society. The wife got time off work, maternity leave. The husband was expected to be back at work the next day. 
in this particular article. He said they actually pulled their blinds, wouldn't go to the door. He called in sick and they just hibernated for a couple weeks while they processed that. And they had nobody to help them. And so when it comes to child loss, oftentimes it is an extent. It's, it's not just the mother. It's, it's the, the, both parents and even sometimes other members of the family. Now, 